Hello and welcome back to another episode of Back in Gattery. Yes, you are here because, well, you either really enjoy the show or you really enjoy me, and I know it's not the latter, so yeah, you're here for Monogatory. So, I don't really want to disappoint you by holding it up any longer, especially since you've waited this long for it. Of course, in the previous episode we had the culmination of the, well, mini story arc surrounding Hamburu and her possessed monkey arm. Demon monkey arm. So we should be moving on to something else, something... If we're going along with the current way that it's been portrayed in this, it's be introduced with a new character and new characters often and well new arcs also appear with new ops which will be nice to listen to i think this is the first time that something has switched so drastically so often <laughs> i'm excited hopefully you are too but if you are ready then join me for episode 9 of bakamanagatari Okay, so a nice, not off-putting actually, calm setting in a forest going up to, I don't know, some sort of horrible, I don't know. Why does it look like they're almost, oh, okay, she's forcing that interaction. Hello, new girl. Oh, nice, it's putting in the... Uh... Did I read that right? It's putting in the uh, thing right there. This is going to be a tragedy right now. And I've heard this song before. Didn't... I don't think I knew it was Bakamonogatari. This is basically in impossible to not hear before if you're in uh, the same kind of circles as this. Well, I'm guessing all of you. I've never actually... Uh, Listen to it or know what the words are, so. Quite a lot to take in, so I probably won't get it first time. Well, she has a lot of... Not hope, but... She's very cheerful. Even if it's a prank. Hmm. Does that mean she's accepted of her fate of already? Since he said it's a tragedy, and these intros usually have a dual meaning. It's very catchy. I'll give it that. <laughs> Wait, when you first saw skin scales? So why is she part fish or snake or something? <laughs> of course she would think that. She's uh she's been what was it? She's a lesbian, so she has to find every female attractive. It's a bit derivative, but, you know. Good question. So they have to appease a spirit...
And I'm guessing it has something to do with that girl. Do the uh, bite marks on his neck disappear over time, or are they constantly there? And if so, has no one noticed them? Does she know about this little outing? Not lying to her again, are you, Araragi? That is a threat. <laughs> Are you asking for present advice? Oh, it's like a surprise party. Does she have many friends? He should know at least a little, shouldn't he? How far is this shrine? By better, does she mean healed? So it's slowly reversing, that's the... That's nice. You're actually having some sort of... Uh, happy resolution, even if it does take time. Holy f... Okay, it's... Somewhat in a state of disarray. Does she not want to go any further? It has nothing to do with the, this devastated shrine, is it? <laughs> so that's what it was. I wonder what she was carrying. while he slowly backs off to put on the seal. Was that her way of finding it's used to bow out? Didn't check myself this time. Well, we haven't ever met him before, so what's the correlation this time? So he knows him through his sisters, essentially. Otherwise we wouldn't have had that bit of exposition. Is it going to stop the building from crumbling? Because I think... Even a seal is uh, going to be useless if it doesn't have anything to stick to. What is this music? <laughs> okay, so she is distracted or engaged by something. 
that has drawn her interest. Probably that tree covered in rope. Yes, lay down on the porch of the shrine that is crumbling. What terrifying, terrifying sight to behold is the... Oh, maybe I shouldn't joke so much. Are they... At first I thought it was like sticks like wedged into the tree. I see the scale, so it's like fish or something, but there's definitely a blade attached to one of them. I've forgotten the name of the short swords. Is it a bunch of them? And yes, I don't know, it probably isn't fish, but I don't know. Something with scales and about that long. Oh, her. Are we just ignoring this the shrine at this point then? And he doesn't want to ask Senju Gahar? Since, yeah, they already had that talk, didn't they? <laughs> Which means he has to actually study and try. Couldn't read what that said. Okay, we're getting some time stamps here. So we went yesterday. Okay, so it was a snake on the tree. Christ. So she's up there killing a snake or snakes continuously. <laughs> As long as it's not some weird cult thing. I don't want any more to do with cults in this show. Then why would they be... Hmm... You haven't told him already? There she is. She's looking in the magic and occult section. Oh no. Oh, Canberra. <laughs> I, I kind of see his point here. He couldn't shake her off.
No. No. And she wants to get like stapled in the face as well. He's not exactly holding holding himself back, is he? What is these mind games? He doesn't have much will, does he? Watch, well, she's just being nice. Well, it's not really a competition between the two, is it? I, I don't understand these things, obviously. <laughs> You can be nice to people. Just don't be a douchebag. Although not asking this guy to not take things sexually all the time, I might be asking a bit much. It's like a gap year. Well, that the successful student is deciding not to pursue. Is that a lie? Is she dangerously ill? Oh yeah, she has home issues as well. Does he recognise her now? I wonder what books he bought. Also, since you have no idea where to find her, it's probably good to start looking back at the shrine. And backstory, younger sister's friend, yep. Okay, I can kind of see that interaction, especially from this like if this guy started going up and talking to young girls, but oh, talking about that. Is she going to get ill when she gets to the top of the stairs again?
Yay! These weird flashback scenes, this is very reminiscent of some other stuff. Creepy as hell. <laughs> the rest is omitted. Well, obviously. Did they not mention this stabbing of a snake on the entire journey? <laughs> I mean, no. To be fair, she has the same vested interest in finding those magazines. So he admitted it. Is that a challenge? Oh Christ. I don't know if I want to know. This is quite the interaction between the two, and they're doing it in front of the uh, new girl. Oh, she's loving it. Why? Uh, oh, um, uh, um, uh, no? Why? They, did they just fucking reference that meme? Did they really just reference that meme? Coincidentally. What is the purpose of this scene? Just asking. Okay. So she's covered in scars from what looks like snake. That's the that's what we're meant to be drawing from this scene. Nothing else. I know who you are. Ow. So she is it that, like, it's like that Greek mythology where it's the liver taken out by a bird daily and it grows back? Like, the snake constricts on her and she keeps having to remove it. Oh, Christ. Don't, don't dig yourself into a deeper hole, Araragi. Yep. You jumped in that hole. You know that he's blunt and doesn't know how to talk. It's not that bad. Someone actually asked for his help directly. He isn't he isn't having to pursue them and force them into accepting his assistance. Was that Oshino Aragi and Shinobu? I think they'd be great fathers to her. (laughs) 
But what the hell? I mean, yes, it's kind of explained what is going on with her and what's kind of curse slash spell she's under, but no, actually, it is perfectly understandable why. It's because it's Monogatari. If the uh, interactions between Aragi and Hajikuchi were anything to go by, this was an inevitability. And are these all new? I haven't, don't remember seeing these before. Or oh, I've just not been paying attention to the outro. Well, that's definitely new. Okay. I know what some of you might be thinking. So I want to clarify something. Because I was asked it before, but I don't know how well I got my uh, point across. Personally, I have no problems with scenes like what well, you obviously know what I'm talking about. But I think it was the how sudden it was and there was really no reason that I can initially tell was what I found shocking. Um... Especially, you know, she's meant to be his little sister's friend. So, caution, warning lights. Um, also, I feel like there's a, probably a better way of getting across your problem of being covered in snake scars. That's I thought they looked quite cool. As far as scars go, at least. Um, but of course, with Bakamonogatari, there is a underlying sexual tension to nearly everything. <laughs> and, uh, well, I was brought to the for forefront of it this time. And I was wrong about the what was in the tree. It wasn't swords. It looked like uh, those chisels... I'm probably wrong about that as well. Who knows? Obviously, a lot of you out there do, and I'll be having some comments telling me how much of a moron I am being. I am willing to accept my fate. And the opening song is a complete contrast to how her character has been portrayed so far. It was... Uh, Full of like burgeoning hope, probably from Aragi coming to her rescue, and we're seeing the before, not the after. So it's back to front. Um, but it is that dynamic between the two that I I like setting up a presence, and then it's like actually no, she is uh, depressed and hates her life, basically like every other character in this show. There was probably quite a few artistic directions that this episode took that I missed. Especially surrounding Araragi's supposed infidelity. I mean, I get it, there's jealousy and being unsure and thinking the worst of everything, but come on. You told the girl to go with him. Then don't get pissy when he has to climb the stairs with her. Come on. Uh, people. This is why I stay and don't go outside. <laughs> of course, if any of you actually track me down, sure. I'll... I don't know. Well, I'll ask what the hell you're doing at my door, but if you can buy me a pint if you want, if you like, I don't mind that. <laughs> don't really drink, but free drinks are free drink. So once again, Araragi has found another not entirely sure what to call her, but 
another one to add to this supposed harem of girls, um, and is obviously going to have to find some way of helping her, usually by turning to Oshino and his knowledge of basically everything that is supernatural. I'd like to know where he got his knowledge, I'd like a bit more explanation on his character. And as far as Japanese shrines go, that was very run down and... Well, it doesn't look like anyone's been taking much care of it recently. Because you would have thought someone would have found all of those snake corpses if anyone was there tending to it. I would love to actually go and see a proper Japanese shrine at some point. Bet I'd just love to go to Japan at some point. But that would mean actually having to be an adult and save money, and... Well, you might know how that story ends. But anyway, that's about as much as I can go in depth with this one at the time being, because... There's far too many variables that I'm not understanding, or haven't got full access to the information, so I don't really want to say anything out of place. Um, see what the next one holds, and then if I'm still missing anything, I'll probably reach out to and have you answer it for me. But for now, that is going to have to be it. If you have enjoyed this episode, or any of the episodes that I put out almost bi-daily, is that the one that's like every two days? Then uh, you should know by now what to do. If you've enjoyed it, if you haven't enjoyed it, then you know, let me know what I can do better. Don't just dislike and move on. You know, actually give me some constructive criticism. But this is the internet and I know how it works, so that's not going to happen. If you haven't already, and you want to, subscribe to the channel so you don't, you know, you don't get left behind. The notification bell is a great way of ensuring that. Now, Bakuman Ogatari is an amazing show, even with the scenes that are slightly questionable. And I definitely want to see more, so keep an eye out, because I'll be getting back to it. And now, and as always, I hope you guys stay awesome, and if you look at the time, I need to get some sleep. I love snakes. I mean, how could he kill them? Come on.